Okay, we're out of recess. It's uh, 4.32 p.m. Uh, Mr. Davis, we are at what point now? Uh, we'd be at agenda item A1 uh, normally, uh, but uh, I'd like to ask that uh, A1 be tabled until next time as uh, there's some uh, additional details that need to be worked out with the client. Okay, let's move on. Oh, I'm sorry. We're going to need a uh, motion to table. Move to postpone. I'll second. Anne Marie? Ms. Witten? Yes. <laughs> Mr. Andriano? Yes. Mr. King? Yes. Mr. Byrne? Yes. I was just checking to see if you realized we had changed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want that thing. <laughs> Next up is agenda item A2. This is supplement number four with uh, upstone materials. This is for uh, land adjacent to their facility in the park. It's for 3.99 acres of land. Term is January 1st, 2019, terminating December 31st, 2029. At the rates, terms, and conditions you see before you. That's nice that it goes out that far. Yeah, they've been a great company to work with, and they've been here a very long time. Steve, do you know offhand? Before I got here, so I don't know if the plant was around when they built the prison or not. I don't know. It might have been out on right. Route 68, right. and then they moved it. Yeah. It, was, it was right after. <laughs> it was, it was <laughs> <laughs> right after. Um, motion to approve? So moved. Second? Second. I'm sorry. Any discussion? And Marie, call the roll, please. Mr. Andretto? Yes. Mr. King? Yes. Mr. Bird? Yes. Ms. Whitten? Yes. Motion carried. Next up is agenda item B1. This is approval of sale of surplus property, specifically the L120 2008 Volvo loader was put out for bid. Uh, there was one bid received for $10,111 and no cents. And this was received from Mr. Matt Burnock. I was pleasantly surprised to see this. Is there a uh, motion? So moved. Second? Second. Discussion? Anne Marie, call the roll, please. Mr. King? Yes. Mr. Burns? Yes. Ms. Witten? Yes. Mr. Andriano? Yes. Motion carried. Okay. Agenda item C1 has a typo on the header. It should read approval of purchase of New Deal uh, blend runway de-icer. This is for the uh, uh, runway. This is the super sacks uh, that we order of this chemical to replenish our stock. Uh, we order six bags at time. Cost this year is $11,735 per delivery. Uh, we do need to get our inventory back up and as we've done in the past, uh, we'd like to have an authorization to purchase additional de-icing chemicals when needed for up to $25,000 so that way it can be done um, in advance of a board meeting if needed. What was budgeted for? Was this budgeted? I mean, I, I think it was. But yes, this yeah. was definitely <laughs> budgeted. Memory is definitely correct, budgeted. I think it was. But. I think the conclusion was we used a lot more than we anticipated using last year, and we anticipate using a lot less this year. Did we carve um, out twenty five thousand for it, or more? Or yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. more than that last year. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Too much. Yeah, I it think we had one hundred and thirty. I was going to say over a hundred. Yeah. Is. So. And this is the same uh, material we used last year. It is. Yes. And it will be used much more effectively and efficiently this year as well. Yeah. Good. Is there a motion? So moved. Second. Any discussion? Hey, Marie, call the roll, please. <coughs> Mr. Burns? Yes. Ms. Whitten? Yes. Mr. Andrano? Yes. Mr. King? Yes. Motion carried. Item C2 also has a typo. This should be approval of runway sand uh, for runway operations. This is a much more cost effective uh, way to uh, service the runway uh, than the chemical, which you, you just saw in the last uh, in the last round. And in this case, it's uh, $7,000 for 250 tons to be delivered throughout the season. 
Um, thirty-seven fifty was due at the first delivery, and the remaining thirty-seven fifty is at the last uh, delivery. Uh, Stephanie, do, could you comment on this one, please, in terms of how you're using this and the chemical to uh, give you a, a better arsenal out there? Oh, okay. Uh, first, I um, Steve pointed out that it is a cost of seventy-five hundred, not um, seven thousand. Mm -hmm. Put a typo in there. Sand is a very good um, material to use for uh, friction on the runway. It is much cheaper, uh, $28 per ton versus the uh, $1,955 per ton with the chemical. It can be used very effectively, particularly on the runways, uh, to slow down the aircraft. It's not good in all circumstances. Freezing rain, it will not work so much. But days like today, um, we didn't have to use that even today, but possibly we'll throw some sand tonight. We do have a flight tonight to uh, keep, the, uh, keep the friction up and, and the braking action up on the runway if it starts to glaze over just a little bit because tomorrow morning it's going to thaw again. And um, rather than use the chemical that will definitely melt it, uh, the sand sometimes will do the trick particularly because we are fortunate <coughs> enough to have sand in a heated building. So you have the heat, the, the, uh, the uh, advantage of the heated sand. I am not too familiar with what we're using. Um, I received an explanation on why we're using this particular chemical. So uh, I decided we'd stick with it for this year. I, I possibly do a mixture, mix the, the chemical with the sand in the truck that would, um, it may be more useful. Once again, cut down on the price of the chemical. Uh, I'm, I particularly, am a big f proponent of sand over chemical, whenever possible, because chemical always leaves something else to be done when it's over. Uh, there's always, you, generally, a mechanical removal of the chemical and the slush that it produces after the ice storm, where sand can stay on the runway until spring, and then it will go away. Does the FAA regulate what we use or how we use it? Absolutely. So uh, these sand, are both approved? These are both approved. The sand has to go through several sieves um, to be small <coughs> enough that it doesn't damage the en engines, yet not so small that it clogs the engines. Yeah, and they, so they remove the kind of the dust. Yes. And that, so they wash it, so it's a finer sand, but it like <coughs> does it come already pre-sifted, or do we do that? No, no. no. It comes pre Steve? Yeah. No, <laughs> um, Stouts, um, they did all the processing of that, okay. the sand, and then um, we do testing on it to meet that, okay. the sieve analysis on that. <coughs> and Steve, where does this physically come from? Um, okay, if you were to go into Briar Hill, Stouts Pit is to the uh, kind of right when you you're going to go down that hill the other end. The, uh, mm -hmm. This is the first time I went to it two weeks ago. I always heard about it, but you head down a road maybe a mile and a half, and he's got a he's got his farm and he's got a massive uh, gravel pit there with concrete and then different aggregates that uh, they use. But I, I was very impressed with it. I uh, you know I knew about the concrete and everything, and then they had always supplied sand, but I'd never visited. But it's a Pretty impressive thing, and um, they've been very good to work with. Could you keep it a little? <clears throat> is this a bid process, or was it we just asked us to do that, or are they the only ones that can do it? Um, they're the only ones that can do it. A lot of it, you could. I, I think there's areas downstate, but the, then you get into the trucking issue. Yeah, so yeah, it's, yeah. it just mm -hmm. kind of preempts uh, any kind of bidding unless somebody really wanted to give it away or anything like that. Right. Does he use the same? <coughs> uh, Mixture that he for anything else, or is it just unique to us? Uh, uh, one, I'm sorry. I mean, I don't know uh, what, what, he does what, what basically they call it too is like um, a golf course sand trap oh, okay. type of sand, so they can use it. Um, I, I think that the sieve might be a little different, but generally it's the same type of stuff um, that they use in sand traps. You don't want uh, clumping and all of that kind uh, of stuff. 
Well, that's good. As you said, Megan, it's nice to have someone local uh, that can provide that for us and at a uh, decent price. That's great. Yes. Any other questions, comments? I'm I'm sorry, Henry. You have to help me along. Was there a motion? Not yet. Not yet. I'll move it. I'll second. Any discussion? All those in favor? <coughs> I'm sorry, uh, no. Marie Call the roll. <laughs> Ms. Whitten? Yes. Mr. Andriano? Yes. Mr. King? Yes. Mr. Burns? Yes. Motion carries. And you're supposed to keep track of me. <laughs> <laughs> you caught yourself. I'll let you do that. <laughs> um, Mr. Chairman, your preference, there is a need for executive session for E1. D1 also falls under that same thing. Um, your discretion on what you want to do there. Um, we should go into executive uh, session then. Uh, there would need to be an executive session for matters relating to the uh, appointment of a corporation. Okay. Is there a motion to go into executive session? So moved. Second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? We are in executive session. It's 4.43 p.m. <laughs> <laughs>